I probably just made the deck worse with the changes. Although it's a bit early to judge the deck by one game. In a game like this, you would actually have. If I only had time, I would actually have to play like 100 games per list. And then, then run the evaluation. That's pretty nice. Let's play the juggler. I have 50% chance to kill that one here. I don't, but then there's only 33% chance that my squire dies. Because I played a minion first. So I think I definitely made the right ordering here. Yeah, the toad can again kill the kill the squire. Next turn he could play the bow. Or he could play Unleash. I guess I'm just going to go face here. Let him worry about trading right now. Even if he plays Unleash, he can't combine that with Hunter's Mock. So it's not that effective. He gets to clear one taunt and the Argent Squire with an Unleash. Even if he has that right now. And if he doesn't, and he attacks with the Toad, then there's as many minions as possible, so the Toad is unlikely to damage the Squire. Only 33% chance for that. And that one didn't happen. Now I could tow them up or I could go with the abusives. I think tow them up is alright here. A bit weaker against Unleash here, but uh, abusives would have also been weak against Unleash. There was no way around that. And Mana Tide would have been something that he... Well, I couldn't even play Mana Tide there, but... Tunnel Drog would have been something that he would have easily removed with the bow. So I didn't really want to play Tunnel Drog into that. Oh, the Grub. And another Toad. Alright. Another question for me is, do I go for some trades? Because I could clear his board. And if I want to clear his board, I think I have to do it now. When I have the abusives available. Let's clear these now. Uh, squire and... Or mana tide. You can just hit mana tide. I guess I go with squire and totem. Face here first and then kill that one. Deny all the beasts. He spent quite a lot of resources just just there to put those beasts on the board. So now that I was able to remove both of them, what is he going to do next? Draw a Tundra Rhino. That's pretty sweet. That's going to be a big charger. Well, he shouldn't have more minions here. And he doesn't, but he has a trap. Explosive, possibly. I guess I want to trade here. Freezing. Mm, freezing's fine. I can sacrifice the rather fair totem. I don't really need that. Play an Ultra and Totem Golem. Get some more face. I'm really weak to unleash. If he gets unleashed, then that's huge. Yeah, maybe I should just play the Mana Tide Totem eventually. But him being able to remove it so easily is a downside. There might be some big beasts coming up. I guess now it's time to play the Mana Tide Totem. I could do 5, 6, 7. I could deal 10 damage. It's not quite enough. So I believe I will go with the trade here. 
kill the Tundra Rhino so he doesn't get charging beasts. But now I, the problem is that I'm not going to get lethal. I'm not going to get lethal before he can play Call of the Wild. And I'm still extremely weak to unleash as well. Why would he quickshot the mana tide? He would have quickshot at the 1-1 one, one and not taken one point of damage. That Doomhammer was pretty okay here. So now this sets up for 2 turn lethal. Doesn't if he has Call of the Wild. If he has Call of the Wild, he's well not fine, but at least he's still alive. There's the Call of the Wild. So Huffer dies, but he's alive unless I top deck something. And I don't. I can take the, the face. That's not a problem at this point. Let's try to set up for lethal for next turn, unless he has another Call of the Wild. Actually, even with that... No, that is enough to prevent lethal again. Ouch. I just lost this game. I just lost this game. He only needs two more damage. There's 14. 14 right here. If he doesn't find two more, then I have some outs. Any damage spell, for example. Okay, so I still have some outs. He has to be trading now. Flame Tank Totem is an out. He can only remove three of the four minions. What? Or did he have any? Maybe he just didn't have anything. How did that go? Thank you for watching. For more action, please visit my YouTube channel. And if you like what you see, remember to subscribe.